Hello everyone, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and I would like to welcome you to another video for our live room trading results. Again, I have chosen some pairs, USD, Euro, uh, DAX, GBP, Aussie, trying you know, to cover all different uh, continents, let's say. And uh, today I will start with USD CAD. We already knew from higher settings that price was on a big wedge. And of course, as we always, always say, uh, wedge or ranges, we are bound trading or waiting for breakouts. Here, when price reaches our resistance area, of course, you could have set some pending orders. Uh, this is the line for the beginning of the week. And we can see price when reached uh, resistance area became a little bit rangy, but then um, we had the clear direction and that is what we always need. So with a classic setup, APO was like 20 pips. Price has already covered, of course, first and second target. My last position is already at 80 pips. I have plenty of room to go even further down. Uh, I have last position from my top-down approach and price could go all the way down for 200 pips. Stress-free now uh, trade more than four times our APO. Uh, on Euro Yen, we had also something nice. We had on higher settings price almost reaching my resistance area, like a bounce, my trend line. Uh, my crossovers, everything were there. And we said, okay, even if price didn't exactly went all the way down to my support area, it was close enough. We could uh, take the trade long with lower risk if uh, you want to. Again, we saw a nice opportunity, 50 pips, 50, 55 pips, you see my higher lows, and then crashed price uh, went all the way up 180 pips so 40 to 180 more than four times again and uh, my win-win scenario are there is there and last position is waiting to go all the way up for 500 pips even more but this is uh, a trend line coming from much more higher settings. So we always, always, always know how far short or how far long we can go with our last position. Okay, because indexes are a little bit neglected, let's check uh, DAX. On DAX, at the beginning of the week, we knew after our twice uh, that is here on my trend line that price was getting stuck on a wedge. Of course, many of you trade, bounce trade up and down. That means just for the sake of the information, like 200 or 2000 pips, plus 200, 400, plus 150, more than 500 pips just in a wedge. Of course, I'm counting only the breakout. <coughs> I saw the retracement here. You see my 2 to 3 line has broken. Entry, APO, you already know the rules, like 80 pips. Quick, we know indexes are fast. Oh, something is wrong. 80, uh, 280, 290 pips already. Win-win scenario again, another stress-free. Uh, Monday morning we will check also next possible resistance areas because like I always like uh, to say when you go long aim for the sky when you go short aim for the abyss okay let's go to GBP New Zealand dollar on GBP New Zealand dollar at the beginning of the week we had a big retracement one two three on much more higher settings price went all the way down short uh, we had a wedge. We knew we were too close to our resist. Oh, sorry, to our support. We were waiting for the breakout, and then it happened. We have already 
uh, discuss about the rules on the breakout strategies and you can see once more with like an APO of how much is that six no 70 pips price is already 418 well it actually went all the way up to uh, where is that sorry zoom out my bad somewhere here let's say yeah 490 pips okay I like it eight times our APO these are the trades that we shouldn't miss and of course uh, more than eight percent or eight times my APO only on GBP New Zealand dollar on Aussie again we had also another scenario met the bounce the higher low and some other scenarios that are met with our strategies and then after also a, a nice trend line we had another opportunity against the main or not it doesn't matter this was like again 25 pips more or less it reached 100 we got the retracement we have the win-win scenario and again this is like four times my APO uh, for this week I mean we had other trades also we have some positions running like from the beginning of the month uh, we just focus on our live trading room results video uh, for the week that has passed now with only this five pairs we had uh, like 20 more than 20 percent 20 times my APO let's say it's actually 23 more than 1100 pips so I think this is also another good week and as always I would like to thank you for watching this video again Monday morning uh, usual time we will do our top-down approach and again have a beautiful beautiful weekend uh, for everybody bye bye